Hello YouTube Universe. We're going to make a quick video of a game called Torchlight 2. I have not played this game in a couple of years and uh, I got in the mood to buy it the other day from Steam and so I've done that. Um, we're going to go ahead and make a new game here. And uh, there are new characters since the last time I played. There's an Emberge, that's a, it's a mage, Berserker, Engineer, a Necromancer, a Paladin, a Ranger, an Outlander, in a warlock. I uh, was playing a ranger a little bit earlier. That's the paladin, the outlander. Outlander is a yeah, gunslinger type. It's a distance character. I went ahead and I played the ranger. I'm going to change your face a little bit here. There we go. name her Blix. I already have a character named Blix, so hopefully I was going to say it wasn't going to be any conflicts. I'm going to go ahead and uh, pick uh, it's a spirit. Spirit looks pretty cool. So is that skeleton? War Beast? Zealot, zombie. Um, I think I'm going to pick a spirit. So spirit does. Spirit does. Um, I don't really have a name to name it. So topper's fine, I guess. So we're going to go ahead and just leave it. We're going to go to casual. I'm going to play single player. I did use some odds because uh, Steam, you can go into the workshop and actually uh, pick some odds. I picked uh, one to increase my stash and one to uh, increase the uh, size. Well, yeah, it was increase the stash. And then um, one to um, do the Synergies mod, which I forgot what the Synergies mod does. It's been a, been a while since I've looked it up. We're going to go over here first. There's some enemies down here. Torchlight 2. Um, you can see the, the graphics aren't too intense. You know, it's kind of cartoonish, but it is definitely well worth playing uh, because the graphics are kind of cartoonish. It don't require too much for uh, for video RAM, and the uh, requirements on your computer aren't that high with graphics like this. Same thing with like Borderlands. You know, they Borderlands used you know kind of I don't want to say cartoonish type graphics, but, you know, nothing real, real intense. So is, uh, so the systems, whoops, did I just die? Yep. Well, uh, resurrect its entrance. I wasn't paying attention and I died. That's the first time I've ever died there. I'm sitting here talking and completely lost track of what I was doing. Anyways, um, back to what I was saying. Games like this, because the uh, requirements aren't that high, they're real light. They're, it's uh, games like this are perfect to use on an old laptop or an old uh, old computer. If the system specs aren't the greatest. Good thing about this game, we're going to go ahead and go to inventory, which is I. Um, if you pick stuff up, it automatically gets equipped. See, so here's the light pants, light tunic, which is kind of neat. That if you don't have anything already equipped, that it will auto-equip for you.
I think we might go ahead and use a staff advice. Oh, it requires level four. We're not level four yet. This is uh, Torchlight 2, so of course that means there was a Torchlight 1. Torchlight 1 has the same similar graphic style. There's not a lot of difference between the two games, I mean as far as uh, gameplay. Uh, it's pretty much the same game, so if you like Torchlight 2, you like Torchlight 1. I myself prefer Torchlight 2 because I like the, the levels better. We've gained a level, so what we're going to do, we're going to hit well, we're going to take this guy out real quick. Hit C to bring up character sheet. We got five stat points. I think I'm going to put two on strength, two on dexterity, and one on vitality. And then we'll bring up I. Go to skills. Actually, it's S for skills. Um... I'm going to go down here to Slashing Wounds. Torchlight 2 is a Diablo style uh, type game. So if you like Diablo, you really should check out Torchlight 2 or Torchlight 1. Games like Titan Quest and Sacred also and uh, Grim Dawn, or all of games like Diablo. So, there's some games for you to check out too. I actually made a video on Sacred, so check that out. Like I said, I haven't played this game in a couple of years, and there's a lot of changes to this game compared to when I last played it. I played this game earlier today, and uh, I just wanted to check it out before I made a video. And um, this this first level is actually different than uh, from the last time I played. There's a golden key. Usually, uh, well, when I was playing this game before, uh, I used Outlander because I like the guns. I like using ranged characters. We're going to go ahead and uh, take a look at our inventory again. Don't look like we can use anything yet. Well, here's this. We can use a farmer shotgun. I think we'll go ahead and uh, equip to the shotgun and see what happens. Hit Z here and heal. There we go. In this game, if you hit um, hit shift, you will actually stay still. So games like this where you're shooting and you want to stay distance away from everybody, you know, you want some distance between you and your enemy, your target, uh, hit shift and you'll stay in place. Which is good because when you're, when you're distance, you don't want to be right up next to them. You know, that's, that kind of defeats the purpose. So, yeah, definitely uh, give it a try using the shift button for your ranged characters. All right, we leveled up again. So 
like we took everybody out. Locked golden chest. I think we'll go ahead and uh, use our points here. I think we're going to go ahead and stick to two on strength, two in dexterity, and one in vitality. Hit S to bring up skills. And I think I'm going to do 1,000 cuts. Even though we are currently not equipped with a sword, I will be using a sword again. Because after all, this is a, a ranger. Well, see, it's, it's, it says it's a ranger, which usually when you think ranger, you think bow and arrow. But it had, had it equipped with dual swords. So we'll have to check this out, see what's better. You know, of course, if you're using bow and arrow and is better than two swords for this uh, ranger class. I think being a ranger, you'd want to be using uh, bow and arrow. The shotguns in this game are actually really worth uh, using because uh, they actually they actually do some damage. I like the spread on the uh, shotgun. See, so, do we kill everybody? No, we got some enemies over here. And I did see that we picked up a steel longsword, so I'm definitely going to have to check that out to see if uh, that's better than the shotgun. This is the uh, end of the first level, because we're at the enclave now. Let's see. Requires level six or strength is 26. Here's a Savage Sweet Blade. I'm almost tempted to get rid of the shotgun and use the Savage Sweet Blade plus the Knuckles. Let's go ahead and see what happens. Our weapon damage is 53 to 85. So we'll go ahead and see what happens. Oh yeah, it goes way down. We'll get rid of those. I think we'll stick with the shotgun. Let's go in here then, Clive. See, I'm using the Synergies mod. Go ahead and... Um, Pick this notch down, notch stacks. And if you notice, it's a shared stash, 126 pages. 
like I increased storage size with uh, one of the um, um, mods. And then here's our stash. There's nothing in here yet. One neat feature of this game is the fishing hole. You can fish for fish, which in this case we got a jackal bass. And if we go to our inventory, hit I for inventory. Um, where'd jackal bass go? Anyways, we'll try this again. What you do, you catch these fish, and then you can give them to your helper, and it actually will transform them into other stuff. See, we just got a tunnel shark. Where, where is this stuff going? We're catching it, but I don't see it going into our inventory. Is it going into our helper's inventory? Hmm. It's not going into our inventory. Oh well. But anyways, you can catch fish, and it'll... Uh, you can use it to transform your pet. You can feed it to your pet. You know, transform into like a spider or a wolf or uh, or something for uh, a, a, a certain amount of duration of time. Also, neat neat thing about the fishing hole is you can fish for items too. Sometimes you might catch magical boots, some kind of really cool armor. Uh, so it's worth taking time to fish. I've actually taken an hour, two hours one time, just fishing because I was getting such good, good items. And I see none of this is going into my inventory. I do not know what's going on there. Well, um, we'll go ahead and uh, take a few more minutes here to play. The highest I've I've gotten in this game, I've never beat the game because I, I didn't own it. I just played it. Uh, I got to level 42 with my Outlander. And uh, I, I thought I did a really good job at uh, building the character. And so I'm looking forward to seeing how good I can build up this character this, this uh, ranger. I made it to level 42, and I made it to the second town, and I cleared out a bunch of stuff around the town. Now I, I made it to the third, third town, and that was all the further I, I'd gotten in the game. I uh, would have liked to have gotten further. We're going to hit Z real quick here to heal. We hit level 4.
Now we're at level four. We'll go ahead and uh, spend our skill points. Two on strength. We'll do one on dexterity and two on vitality. That way we have an even ten. And then we're going to go to uh, our inventory here. Because now we're at level four. We have some level four items that we couldn't use before that we uh, are able to use now. Uh, our shotgun seems to be doing us pretty doing us good with 54 but I think what I might do here is I'm gonna bring up the character thing weapon damage 54 to 86 I think I'm gonna see what this cleaver does 55 55 and then uh, give us a shield. Requires level six, level six. That, that does a lot of damage. Go and see what this does. 55, 55, 50 to 67. I think we'll do this. Uh, click onto that. All right. Oh, it's level six. One neat thing about this game, um, if you look at my inventory, it's starting to fill up. Yeah, I have 20 pages because of the mod I'm using, the increased inventory mod. But if you... Uh, didn't have it or you got a bunch of stuff you just want to sell hit P to bring up your uh, pets inventory and then you can actually uh, you take the stuff and, and give it to your pet and when you're done with that there's a little town icon right here uh, send pet to town. We're going to send our pet to town and it'll actually uh, um, sell the items for us. So we, we don't, we don't got to take time to go into town ourselves, which is a really, really cool feature. Because I don't know how many times I'm in a game you know, I fill up my inventory and I'm stuck with uh, the option or the chance. I'm stuck with the only option I have. Oh, our character's back, our pet. Let's go ahead and see what this guy does. But, yeah, what I was saying was um, a lot of times I go, I, uh, uh, stuck with, my, my uh, inventory filled so then I can't obviously hold anymore so then I have to uh, either go back or continue playing in the game without being able to pick up new items we are needing to heal the spike drawer is messing us up Torchlight 2 is a few years old. Um, I think everybody should play Torchlight 2 because it is such a fun game. 
So if you're looking for a game in the Diablo style, definitely check out Torchlight 1 or Torchlight 2 or, or both. And I don't think you'll be disappointed. Another game that's like this, there's a, there's a game called Fate. They, uh, they made a couple of games in the series. And uh, they're actually really fun games. They're, they're games like this, but they're, the, the graphics are more cartoonish. And that is a fun game worth checking out. Any of the games in the Fate series. Original Fate is good. Fate 3 is probably the best. I am a huge fan of Diablo, so I like all games that are Diablo-like. And, um, a good thing about this game is they they didn't want the game to be the same game same gameplay every time you play it. So they did what Diablo does, and they uh, they have it where the where it's different gameplay every time. Is every dungeon's not the same layout? You don't have the same item in in every treasure chest. You know, you it's not the same item and the same treasure chest every time. It's different. They mix it up. We're going to go ahead and take out all these enemies over here. Come on. This is one of those games that, to me, because I don't get bored of it, uh, I will cl usually clear out every enemy of, of the dungeons. Yeah, this this game to me this is a good game. I think everybody should try it. It's twenty bucks on Steam. Um, I went ahead and paid the twenty bucks. Uh, usually, what I try to do instead of uh, paying the, the price Steam wants. I'll usually go to eBay and I'll look for the look for the C D key. And usually I can find it cheaper. As a matter of fact, um, just this morning I uh, I found a game called Grim Dawn. It's twenty four bucks on, on Steam, but I actually bought the C D key for uh, thirteen bucks on eBay. So that's a little trick for anybody that that likes to buy games on Steam. Find the game and then find the game on eBay and see if you can find the CD key cheaper. Because usually you can. Oh, we got a heavy sword, so I wonder what our heavy sword is going to do for us.
go ahead and well, we got quite a few items here. Well, looks like we don't got time to mess around with our inventory yet just yet. Maybe after these guys, we'll have a second. All right, let's uh, see what we got here. 97, heavy sword of fire. I'm thinking that's probably a uh, better bet. 73 to 92, 133 to 24. I'm thinking that's our, our better bet. Was that a one-hander or a two-hander? That's two-handed sword. Um, two on strength, two on dexterity, two on vitality, or one on vitality, I mean. Sword seems to be uh, working pretty good. It's funny, I actually haven't found a bow yet. With this being a ranger, you think you'd find a bow. All right, let's uh, see what we got here for Fallen Guardian. <clears throat> oh, that was a, that was good. Oh, what do we got going on here? I really like the way this game is laid out. I um, I really like the graphics. I like the gameplay. I like the mechanics, the game mechanics of it. I'm not going to go as far as to say the game is unique, but it's definitely different than most games like this. A lot of games like this, they you get bored of it pretty quick because it's, uh, you know, just click and smash and, you know, repeat. This game, when you play it, it's got good game music. It's got good gameplay. Uh, the enemies are interesting.
All right, here's the portal to the surface. We got two unspent skill points. We're going to go here and collect our uh, reward. Let's see. That's a good one. You can actually get stuff for your uh, your pets too. So you can actually, uh, you know, get your pet, get your pet some equipment. So they actually do damage. They actually fight and do damage. I think we're going to go with uh, Rawhide Armor of Rejuvenation. Can't use it yet, but I, I think it'll come in handy. Um, I think we're going to play just for a couple more minutes and then call it good. I don't want to drag this video out too long. I'm just going to follow the road here for a little bit. To the Temple of Steps. Yeah, these temples are actually really fun to play. Man, we're getting we're getting pounded on here. That's all right. We're doing some damage. All right, level six. Oh, I died. I wasn't paying attention to my... Um, that would just go right here. I was not paying attention to my health. And I should have been. And we're getting pounded on here all of a sudden. Retreat here a little bit and see what we got here for enemies. Try to take them out one at a time. So I just swing in aimlessly. All right, what do we got here? All right, I'm going to click onto the waypoint and go back to the enclave. And I think we're going to go ahead and spend our skill points. Looks like we're about ready to level up in fame. Go ahead and hit S for our skill points. Slashing wounds. A thousand cuts. All right. Um, we got quite a bit here in our inventory. I think this would be a good place to stop for now so I don't make this video too long. And um, 
If you like this video, please like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. Um, please subscribe. And if you have any comments, please leave comments. Um, <clears throat> any feedbacks better than no feedback. So I'm looking forward to reading your comments. And um, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.